today I was going to do the new Natasha Denona palette and face palette, but my video I posted yesterday, the Chanel Cuivre, did not do well. And I think you guys might be eyeshadowed out for a minute because that was my third eyeshadow video in a row. So today we are going to take a look at the new Hourglass Ambient Lighting. Look at that. I believe that this is the holiday set, but I'm not 100% sure. And what they are doing this time is different, and I am really here for it. Hello. You have the choice of three components packaging. I chose the elephant because how could I not? Look deep into the eyes of this elephant love. And, you know, I'm a fan of the salmon color. There's two other colors. But better than that, there are three powder kits that you can put in here. I got the lightest one, and this is what it looks like. I had set up for the medium one, and I thought, you know, who am I kidding? Plus, I've kind of been craving deeper blushes, and I was hoping this might hit my craving. I just opened it for the first time. I haven't swatched it. I haven't done anything. So let's take a look. This is metal, by the way. And the last time they did something like this, I got my finger in there. Get your finger out of the way because it pinches. It doesn't feel good if you do that. And let's get the magnifying glass out just to see if they're telling us anything at all. Number one is your finishing powder, Ethereal Light. Number two is the strobe powder, Incandescent Light. Number three is the blush, Soft Flush. Number four is a finishing powder in Diffused Light. Number five is blush, Sunset Glow. And number six is Metallic Strobe Powder, Celestial Strobe Light. I think I just swatched one on top of the other because some of these shades are pretty darn light. I would say that this and this and this might be a little bit too light for me. Maybe this would be good under the eyes. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely for lighter skin. And I put these two blushes together to see what the differences might be. I feel that this one a little more peachy and this one a little bit more terracotta. I'm not sure if it'll show on the face. And again, really don't like it when the sun's not out because the video I did yesterday, the Chanel video, that lipstick looked different on screen than it does in real life. And I, I don't know how to explain it. It's almost like this is too much light if it's not balanced out with the sunlight. And so it washes things out a little bit. So we are going to start with, I have a teeny bit of concealer on and I do have I do have the Chanel Complexion Touch on. So these are the two finishing powders. I'm gonna try this just under my eyes, just a little bit for a bit of a brightening, but I have a feeling it's just gonna be a little too much for me. It's okay, let's, let's try it like a contour in a way. So I'm going to put it down the center of the face, the cheeks. And I wipe off the brush and now I'm gonna do this color all over the rest of the face. I think I actually have this in a full size. I haven't used it in a long, long time. And I do need to powder because I have my sunscreen on, which is always a little shiny. And not very much is coming off on my brush. Okay, so it doesn't knock down the shine too much because these powders do have a sheen to them. So this is the strobe powder, this is the highlighter. And I'm just going to take the tip of the same brush because I neglected to get out my brush that I usually use for highlighter. Oh, it's pretty. This is soft and natural looking. 
but it's super, super pretty. Now I accidentally put a little bit on this side, having forgotten that I wanted to definitely try this one, which is the strobe. It's a bit darker for me, um, you know, kind of a goldish tone, but it's probably, yeah, much more impact with this. If that's your groove, I just wipe this off a little bit and I'm going to blend it, but I don't want it to go all over my face, so I'm just going to dab it with a dry beauty blender so it doesn't look as much like a stripe. It's very pretty. I would say that the color actually would work for me. It's just I prefer this kind of highlight over this kind of highlight. Yeah, that's a bit much. So for the blush, I actually want to go into this one, Sunset Glow, first, because it seems a little bit more peachier. It picks up a lot, so I'm going to do what I normally do, and that is allow that to happen, and then just work it into the brush. And this is my Chikahoto brush. I'm just going to put some around the eye since I don't have any eye makeup on today. That kind of helps. I drape it. There is no bronzer in this group. Now I think this is very pretty. I do. And plus the highlighters are different so you can see how each color works with each highlighter. Wow, this highlighter is, is not great for older skin. And highlighter, I, I just, I can't get over it. But I do think the colors work together. So if you can find a way to mellow out that highlighter, which you could, you could dip your brush into it and then dip it into a little bit of translucent powder because the color, I think, really, really works. I just don't think um, it's, it's too shimmy for older skin. When I look in this mirror, which is probably like a 3X, I can see stuff I don't want to see. So this is one look and now I'm going to put some more foundation on my face and we'll do the second cup. So I'm going in with the Wayne Goss. It is not the same color as the Chanel. The Chanel is warm and this is cool. I just wanted to show you a little bit. So I'm bringing it everywhere else to help the colors work together because I am leaving the house and I don't want to look crazy. Now instead of my usual Wayne Goss brush, which is quite small and it really wasn't picking anything up, I'm taking this Refer 05 and I'm going for it. I still think that these two finishing powders are too light for my skin tone. It's 80% humidity today, so I definitely need all the help I can get. Okay, there we have it. Again, a little bit of sweat. You're not going to get a matte look with these. You'll just get a really beautiful, pearlized skin look that's not too pearly, not too shiny. It's just, I think, partially the weather, uh, humidity, and no sun. You can't really see it, but it does look very, very pretty on the skin. Now, I'm taking that idea that I had using this with a powder and that powder will knock down that sheen a little bit. Pick up quite a bit to make sure I have it all over the brush, knock off, and just the teeniest bit. I think it does work. Now, I obviously still have sheen here even though I powdered it. And it's probably from the first application coming through from the foundation. So maybe the way to use this, if you like the color but it's too bright, is put it on before you put on your foundation. But this kind of application that I just did also works very, very nicely. And then if I want to get a little bit of a punch, I'll go back with this brush 
and just again pick a little bit up on the tip voila knock some off I just get a little bit of an intense highlight just the teeniest teeniest bit and now I'm going to go in with soft flush and this is my Suki brush It's pretty. Now I think when I went in with the first one I might have used more product because I had enough left over to put here. So I'm just going to pick up the teeniest bit more. I'm fine with the intensity that I have right now, but I just want to give you an idea of what this color looks like. She's very nice, it's very youthful. I think this is a good kind of everyday palette. So I'm just going to put on some mascara and uh, do some eyeliner and a little lip and I'll come back and I'll tell you what my thoughts are. I'm back. This is my final look. I just did really a little mascara, a little eyeliner and a little bit of lip and everything will be listed down below. So what do I think? I think the concept is perfect because every time they come out with one of these during the holidays it's too dark for me it's too bright for me it's too much for me however the think the one that i chose is not enough for me this is truly for people who are quite fair so if you are more fair than me and i consider myself a light medium then this is the one for you so i believe this is palette number one and i just the tip off for me this is a finishing powder. Look how light this is. And this one I have and I never use because it is a little bit too light for me. What's interesting is they chose these blushes which are warm for people who are very, very fair. Very fair people oftentimes but not always have a cool undertone. So that's an interesting choice. Uh, I think they, they tend to look better more with mauve tones. But you know, they, maybe they know better than I do. The two highlighters, considering how light this color is, this is pretty dark. If this is your finishing, one of these are your finishings, how is this color going to work for you? This one is lovely, it's ideal, it's a little champagne-y as opposed to the golder one, and it's a very diffused, beautiful highlighter. The blushes, to me, seem like they're a little too close in shade to warrant them both being there. I think for me. So let's just say the product is beautiful, the packaging is beautiful, I don't have a problem with any of that. What I'm talking about is what would be more useful. I think for me it would be more useful to have one finishing powder and to have a bronzer in here and to have blushes that are different have one with a warm undertone and have one with a cool undertone. That way, when you're spending this much money on a palette, you're actually getting a variety. Uh, so for me, the composure is a little bit off. Do we need two finishing powders? Do we need two highlighters? Couldn't we put a bronzer in there? And couldn't we have more variety when it comes to the cheek color? It's not that it's not pretty. It's beautiful. It's really about, I'm here to show you what it looks like so you can decide if it's right for you, for me. Maybe I should have gone with the medium one. It was in my bag. It was all set up and then I thought, what am I thinking? This is going to be too dark for me? Probably not. But it is lovely. And you guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. I hope it was helpful. And I hope you come back again. Until we meet again, be safe and smart. And I'm wishing you good health. Lucy, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.